National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi there, naturopathic Dr. Jonathan Beatty here, health expert with nationalnutrition.ca. Have you ever suffered from or do you know anybody who suffers with sinusitis? If you do, it can be a very annoying condition to have. It can have a huge impact on your life. Now, in order to understand the best ways to treat and manage sinusitis, the first thing we have to understand is that there's multiple causes behind it. Sinusitis literally just refers to inflammation of the sinuses. Anytime you see that suffix itis related to medicine, it's always referring to inflammation of, and then when we say sinuses or you know sinusitis, it's the sinuses. Now, there's a whole bunch of different sinuses you have. The two most common to be affected are the maxillary and frontal sinuses. The sinuses are essentially large air pockets or cavities that exist within the skull. Uh, they're there because you know if our skull was completely full all the way through, all the weight would be at the front of our heads and we'd walk around with our chin in the chest all day because our heads would just be too heavy to hold up. So the sinuses allow a lot of air and, and the front half of our faces to be lighter. Now, the downside with sinusitis is it's very difficult to treat because technically your sinuses are almost outside of your body. They're these big hollow cavities. They're connected to your nose, your mouth, your ears, um, but they're connected to the outside world. And so because of that, anything inside the sinus is almost technically outside of the body. Yes, it's within the physical barrier of our body, but it's not actually within you know, our bloodstream. It's not actually within our body. It's in these cavities within our body. So treating it can be very difficult. The other thing you want to understand is what is creating the sinusitis. So sinuses are a mucous membrane. Basically a mucous membrane is any part of the body that's you know, outside of the skin that's exposed to the outside world. So when they get inflamed, what happens is they produce mucus. This causes that congestion, that heaviness. It can, and because of that, it can create pressure that can result in headaches and a lot of different problems. And so anytime you get this inflammation of the mucous membrane, you're going to get sinusitis. The symptoms can be, you know, headaches. It can be you know, a lot of excessive mucus congestion. You can get something called post nasal drip where the mucus is dripping down the back of the throat. And you can also get fevers and other symptoms depending on the cause. Uh, the major causes of sinusitis tend to be bacterial and viral infections, as well as seasonal allergies and fungal infections. So depending on the type of sinusitis you have, the treatment's gonna differ a little bit. The difficulty is, is that the symptoms can often look the same, and in many cases, viral or um, allergic sinusitis can lead to bacterial sinusitis as well, and that makes it difficult to manage. So if you notice that the mucus is what we call like yellow or greenish or sometimes a brown color, that's likely a bacterial infection. When the mucus is clear or white or sometimes frothy, that's typically viral or an allergic reaction uh, or allergic sinusitis. So when you've got allergic sinusitis, the treatment I often recommend is something called quercetin. Uh, quercetin is a bioflavonoid that actually calms down your mast cells and reduces the amount of histamine you release in response to allergies. It basically makes you slightly less responsive to the allergens in your environment. It doesn't mean that your allergies are gonna go away entirely, it just reduces the amount of histamine that you do release when exposed to your allergens. I also often recommend supplementing with something called NAC or N-acetylcysteine. Uh, this is an amino acid that's a precursor to glutathione. Glutathione is a very potent anti-inflammatory as well as detoxification molecule and it can actually reduce your, uh, the, the amount of allergenicity you have to your environment. So again, reducing histamine as, and reducing the amount of mucus produced. NAC also seems to reduce how sticky that mucus is, making it easier for your body to clear and making a lot of your sinusitis symptoms go away. Also, bromelain. Bromelain is very effective at reducing tissue swelling and inflammation. And for that reason, it can be very effective in managing sinusitis because it, when you get a lot of swelling in the sinuses, that can actually block the exits 
and cause any mucus produced to be stuck in the sinuses, making your head feel very heavy, very congested, and often leading to the development of sinus headaches. So bromelain helps you know, break down the inflammation, open the channels out so that the mucus can drain, as well as it will thin out the mucus, making it easier for it to drain out of the sinuses and reducing the symptoms of your sinusitis. If, however, your sinusitis is bacterial in nature, our approach is gonna be very different. Instead, we're gonna use some antibiotic herbs. Typically, I like using things like grapefruit seed extract, golden seal, or in some cases, I will use uh, oregano oil or garlic, uh, because all of these herbs uh, can, are very, very antibiotic, and they can help manage chronic bacterial sinusitis and again, reduce the symptoms by reducing the cause of the symptoms. By eliminating the infection, you're gonna get rid of that chronic sinusitis. So if you do suffer from sinusitis, I hope these hints and tips are gonna help you manage your sinusitis more effectively, reduce your symptoms. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out more of our natural health videos on our channel. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And always remember, knowledge is health.